do you think being in quarantine and isolated has hurt you or helped you creatively in the long run? Um, so, yeah, I've kind of, I've been, you know, it's, it's wild, you know, there's been, I, you know, quarantine has not been the worst thing for me, honestly. Um, and, you know, I want to say that, you know, with, uh, you know, some, you know, white gloves, you know, because that's been terrible for so many people, you know, and, you know, so many people have lost their jobs, you know, lost family members, loved ones, sisters, brothers, mothers, grandmas, grandpas, um, you know, so I don't, you know, I don't want that to, you know, I don't want to overshadow that, but, you know, for me, you know, all, all, all my people have, have been safe and you know, COVID free and no one's, you know, lost their lives. And, you know, so I'm extremely grateful of that for sure. Um, but I do, you know, I do think that um, I've kind of refocused, like through this whole thing, I've been able to kind of refocus um, and kind of reset my compass, honestly, on the things that are important to me and the things that really 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 matter honestly and so as as far as that's concerned and it's wild because I don't know if I would have um, had the time or just you know because it's like if something just takes you up picks you up and plops you down over here gets you out takes you out of the flow it's very different from yourself going, okay, I'm getting, I'm actively getting myself out the water. And it's almost a little easier to just kind of slip back in and just keep going on, you know? So with this, it really kind of like, and we couldn't, it's like, we couldn't go back in. I couldn't get back in, you know, the water was, it was like a hot freaking flow of lava. You know what I'm saying? I can't, you can't touch that, you know? So, so it's definitely, definitely um, giving me a, 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 you know, I've been really kind of like able to kind of, like I said, set my focus on some things to kind of, you know, help me, honestly, and just really be able to kind of, now it's like, all right, now, I, I, now, I'm, now I'm working on this, you know, I'm doing this for myself, this for myself, this for myself, this for myself. And now what's that, what's that, what's the uh, direct relationship that comes from that? I have more energy. I have better energy to bring to the table to speak to amazing people like yourself or amazing, you know, people like my mother and my father and my aunt or any other fans, you know, or just if I'm in a songwriting session. Um, so, you know, the self-care thing kind of really kind of be, started to become, uh, you know, just a really like I've been really just like holding on to that and just really being precious with it because I've, I'm now seeing the benefits of it. For a long time, I, I did not really, I was like, I, I'm, I'm like, a, I'm a giver to my core. And I think a lot of times I just, can lose myself in the situation and at the detriment to my own health you know and you're you're shaking your head you're like yep hop in there yep I feel you I feel you yeah so yeah we've uh I, I've been um I've had to I mean I had this situation kind of happen with my ears and that was really, really scary. And it was a direct, it was a direct relationship to so much touring, being on the road, too much loud music all the time, no rest. What's that going to get you? Nothing good. <laughs> I can tell you that. So balance is now my uh, mantra, honestly. So. That's incredible to hear, and I hope more people actually take that time to refocus now that we have some time in quarantine. But did you I hope create they can. any? Of, yeah, yeah. Did you create any of your record while in quarantine, or was it all previously created? Um, so uh, a little bit of it, but it was mostly finished pre-quarantine. Yeah. Um, it was mixed in quarantine. 
So, um, I don't know if that has, you know, that, that might have uh, imprinted on the sound a little bit, but because I will say I had a ton of time to really go through the mixes and kind of meticulously think, oh, you know, I mean, some of the songs I, I remember, I think we had like 13 mix revisions, which is kind of insane. <laughs> but, um, I mean, the mixer that we, well, it was only one song. So I, I don't want you guys to think I'm like this crazy, like, you know, it it was it was one tune that was just like really the demo. I was like looking, look, look, kept listening back to the demo, going, "Bitch, there's something about this demo that is, you know, it's really doing it for me." And this, you know, so it took a little while to really kind of get it back to the almost like a demo sound, but like a little, just like a bit, a little better of a sonic quality. So. We didn't have to do that to all the tunes, and some most of the tunes are just like I mean, you listen to the demo, and right away after the mix, you just like that's just like you know, that's night night and day better. Um, but sometimes it's tough to beat the demo, and you just got to be able to, you know, understand what you you know what you're looking for, and you know, just whip it into shape, you know. <laughs> for sure, and I'm always curious when it comes to creating. Well, I think it's kind of an overlook quality with some fans. Uh, the sequencing and track listing of an album. So, is there a process for you, or how do you go about doing that? Um, I'm kind of in that process right now, um, and I think there's uh, there's a few schools of thought. Um, I honestly kind of I really wanted to tell a story. I wanted to have an arc. And I wanted to leave the listener with just like a breath of fresh air, especially with this album, because, you know, this album, like I said before, was all about feeling good and everything that I could do to, to put into this album to make people listen to it and like have them feel amazing after the process. I did, you know. So, but that's not to say that, you know, it's all like I'm just shitting rainbows out over here. Sorry, excuse my friends. But, uh, um, <laughs> you know, there's, there's some depth to it. And there is, you know, there is an arc to it for sure. Um, so that's really kind of been the challenge. And I'm still kind of figuring it out and like going back and listening to this you know to this one or listening to that one and then there's you know there's yeah so i'm figuring it out but i think i think it's going to be when it's all said and done it's going to have an arc and it's going to tell a story that's really all i can say at this point that's so exciting do you have a lyric off of it that you're most proud of or maybe that's like a standout lyric for you off of it oh Hmm. Man. I have to say the I mean the one of the first ones that comes to mind is I'm still standing here. Shake. I'm still standing here. Shake. Shake. You know. That's kind of the you know that's the first one that came to mind. So there's gotta be something to that. Um there's a few more that you know I have to believe that there's something to this film. That's uh that's a lyric. That's uh that's a that's on a song that ain't even out yet. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so um, cool. So uh, so there's a little nugget. There, um, yeah. yeah, but there's there's a few. There's a few there's a few that definitely jump out to me. That's but awesome. those are two that really really do. I can't wait to dissect. And then I mean I can't I can't forget I can't forget you know, this place may be, you know, amazing for a ton of people but it's not a promised land for a lot of folks and i think we have to think about that and make the decisions and do the things and do the right thing to ensure that this place is a promised land for everyone for sure that that's beautifully put and I also have to ask, because one of my favorite places is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I know your pants are currently displayed there, and I have to ask, where were you when you found out that I'm going to have a piece in one of the most prestigious places for musicians? <laughs> yeah, still, even, yeah, I don't even, I, don't, I, don't, I still don't believe it. 
Still don't believe it. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I was, uh, I let's see here. I was actually, I was on a run and my manager called me and he said, I got some good news. I said, oh, what, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? And he told me, wow, okay, no way. No. And he sent a picture, you know. So, yeah, I was on my morning run. I'm thankful I picked up picked up that call. I mean, I'm sure he would have called me back. But, uh, yeah, then I was like, yeah, I was on cloud nine yesterday. That day. Hell, I'm still on cloud nine. Somebody, you know, nobody, nobody pinched me because I ain't trying to wake up. <laughs> <laughs>